What's going on guys? Going to be going over my top three MLB picks for today. Um, today is July 22nd, 2024. Hope you all are having a great morning so far. It's currently right around noon. These first games are starting at 1 p.m. and then the later games don't start till 6. There's actually only one game that starts in at around 45 minutes, the Yankees-Tampa Bay game. The rest starts at 6 p.m., 6.40 p.m. and later on Eastern. So you're going to have six hours to get these plays in. Um, all three of these are for the later games. So um, I appreciate all the support, though. As always, for every prop that we miss in this video, I'm going to pick one person to win a month free of VIP. I'm glad MLB's back. It's been back for a day or two now. Um, just haven't been able to make a video. But um, really happy MLB's back from uh, the break. Let's absolutely crush it today. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below so you have a chance of winning. And let me know if you have any questions about any of the props I've picked or any props on the board that maybe you're interested in and you just want a second opinion on. Um, let's just get into this though. Our first pick that we're going to take is Andre Palante over four pitcher strikeouts. Let's go ahead and pull it up. So Andre Palante, he's on the Cardinals versus Pirates today. The line is at four. I do believe this possibly was at three and a half when it opened, just because that's what his line typically is at. Obviously, at three and a half, I like that a lot more. Um, at three and a half, you don't have that push potential. But all four does is, I assume he goes over three and a half. I have him projected for over three and a half. So if he's at four, all that does is add push uh, push potential. It doesn't affect the prop in any other way. Um, it just means we might get a 1.5x or like a refund or whatever, you know. Um, but I love this play, Andre Palante over four strikeouts. And let's take a look at why I like it. So first of all, I do want to mention, guys, DG Fantasy, use code LIMIT for 25% off your first month. You can compare all the sports books and pick them, pick them apps versus whichever pick them app you're on. It helps you get the best odds possible for all of your plays. Absolutely phenomenal app. And um, I've been using it. It's been helping me find these positive EV plays. Definitely recommend it. And then Outlier, use my link in the description for one free week. But we're going to search up our play here for Palante. Check him. Click Apply. And we can scroll down over four strikeouts right here. We can see over his last five games, he's pushed or went over in four out of five of those with a median of five strikeouts and average of 4.8. Four of these games he had five. The one game he had four. 2024 as a whole, he's pushed in two games out of eight. He's went over in five out of eight, which means he only went under in that one single game. Um, median of five, average of 4.3 still. In away games, that's when he had the one, uh, one under game, unfortunately, and then two pushes, one over. So 50-50 rate there. Um, he's averaging five innings pitched. Some games he goes less with three. Some games he goes over with six or seven. Um, today is versus the Pirates, batting versus right-handed pitchers. We can see they have a 24.1% strikeout rate, which is 25th in the league. Absolutely phenomenal. I love seeing that. We can see Palante, starting pitcher in the top right. Four for four, earned runs per nine innings is 4.21 versus the Pirates, down to a 1.29. His strikeouts per nine inning is 7.19. It does go down ever so slightly versus the Pirates. And then his walks and hits per inning go down versus the Pirates as well. So he doesn't give up runs. He doesn't give up hits. Last game, he did give little, uh, he did get a little bit less strikeouts than normal. But I don't think he's going to have issues today. We can see he got five last game versus the Pirates anyways. So if he can get five again, we're more than happy there. Um, let's go on to play number two. So play number two is going to be Tanner Hook under two and a half earned runs allowed. So this is versus the uh, Rockies. That's the only iffy thing about this play is that they are playing in Colorado. And as you guys know, Colorado Field, it's just, it's meant for home runs. Um, the weather is perfect for home runs. Um, the uh, It's just great over there. Uh, you love playing players that are in Colorado for like fantasy and things like that typically every single day just because the weather there um but i do think that he does give under two and a half earned runs allowed simply because colorado is not a good team um i do expect boston to score some runs today so i actually really love uh jaron duran today from boston specifically uh love him today 
But I do expect uh, Boston to score some runs today, but I don't think that Hook is going to give over three runs allowed. And we can take a look at the stats for that right now. So we're going to go back to Outlier, search him up. Under two and a half earned runs. We can see over his last 10 games, he's went under in eight out of 10. The two times he went over was versus the Phillies, where he gave up three, and then versus the Padres, where he gave up seven. In 2024, he's went under in 14 of 19 starts, with an average of 1.74 earned runs allowed and a median of one. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, he's only went over this four times, guys. Um, or five times, I apologize. Um, he's only gotten blown up on once versus the Padres. I absolutely love this. He's going six innings pitch per game on uh, on average. And we can see 0.215 BAA, 2.54 earn on average, which is in the top 6%. And we can see 2024 stats, Colorado batting versus right-handed pitchers, 0.244 in 2024. Last 30 games, they are 24th in the league with a 0.231. I absolutely love this play. Let's lock it in. Um, we don't really have many stats for Hook versus their batters or anything. So nothing to look at there. We can just go based off their averages versus right-handed pitchers and their averages and Hook's average in general. So loving this today. Let's lock it in and let's move on to our third play of the day, which is going to be Eric Fed under four and a half pitcher strikeout. So I do like this play a lot as well. Fed under four and a half. He's versus the Rangers today. The Rangers shouldn't strike out too much. Let's just take a look at the uh, odds of that on Outlier really quick. So, Fed, apply. Four and a half strikeouts under. We can see it, it is favored. It was like minus 145, minus 135, etc. Love that. In 2024, he's went over this in 11 of, eight, of 19 games, under in 8 of 19. In away games... That changes everything. In away games, Fed has went under in 7 of 11, 64% of games. He's averaging 4.82 strikeouts per game with a median of 4. He has had one pop-off game where he had 11. Five innings pitched, uh, typically. And when we scroll down even more, this is the beautiful part. So over their last 30 games... Texas versus right-handed pitchers are a 21.5% strikeout rate, which is a top 10 team. And in 2024, they are a 20.1% strikeout rate, which is a top six team. They're sixth in the league for least amount of strikeouts. So we can also see Fed is 50-50. He has a 21.6% strikeout rate. He gets one every like five batters. So I'm not too worried this game. I think the mix of the Rangers batters versus Eric Fed, it's not going to fare well for him. I'm loving the under here. Let's lock it in and let's go three for three today, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment for a chance of winning a free month of VIP. And if you're interested in VIP, $20 a month. Um, it's not going to break the bank. You're going to profit within like your first week of being in there minimum. Um, you're probably your first day, even $5 units, probably your first day you're going to be up. So definitely recommend it. We do have the money back guaranteed where if you don't profit in your first day, you get your first month for free. So be on the lookout for that. And, uh, I will see you guys in the discord. Thanks for watching.